Okay, Simon, you're often described as dynamic, inspiring, knowledgeable, challenging and supportive. So why did you become an action business coach? During my career in London, I worked with several large financial institutions, consultants and advisors. But to be honest, it's not what I really wanted to do. I read an article that 60% of new businesses fail in the first five years and 90% in the first 10 years. How astounding is that? When I researched it further, I determined the reason most businesses failed was not because the business owner wasn't good at what they did or they didn't have a good product or service, but they didn't know how to run a successful business. How's your experience of Action Coach been then compared to your expectations? I'm yet to come across a single business leader or owner who doesn't struggle with time, team or money issues in their personal or business lives. Well, I'm in my element. Using my knowledge, skills and experience to help business owners achieve not only their business goals, but also their personal goals. You've achieved so much in personal life and in business now. And you performed at elite level in triathlon and you've also impacted businesses by hundreds of millions on the bottom line. What do you attribute all your success down to? I put my success down to not adapting to the world, but taking responsibility for my own life, as well as taking initiative and responsibility to make things happen. And you're clearly an exceptional level in strategy, execution, outstanding profit growth. Now, how do these strengths complement the Action Coach business growth system when you're coaching? To be an effective coach, I need to establish a trusted advisor relationship. Together with my clients, we identify quick wins for short-term gains. But the true value is implementing strategies for long-term results. The time my clients allocate to coaching is valuable. I put their interests first and I'm fully focused on them and their results. I take a genuine interest in my clients and their business. I delve deep to understand their underlying interests and motivation. And finally, I'm reliable and authentic. I do what I say I will do. I hold my clients accountable to do likewise. I challenge my clients and ask difficult questions. However, I always provide support and guidance. The key is to learn from the past envision the future and focus on the now.